we are a herd species. And if we believe a behavior is commonplace, it will become more common still. So just to demonstrate that, I want to show you a, a video, about 50 years old, probably from the 1960s. It's a video from Candy Camera, uh, American comedy show. And what this video does is go some way to demonstrating quite how uncomfortable people feel when they realize they're deviating from the norm. So it's about two and a half minutes, so bear with it. I think it's quite a nice demonstration. The gentleman in the elevator now is a candid star. These folks who are entering, the man with a white shirt, the lady with a trench coat, and subsequently one other member of our staff will face the rear. And you'll see how this man in the trench coat <laughs> tries to maintain his individuality, but little by little, he looks at his watch, but he's really making an excuse for turning just a little bit more to the wall. Now we'll try it once again. Here's the candid subject. Here comes the candid camera staff, three of them at least. And uh, this man has apparently been in groups before. <laughs> now, here's a fella with his hat on in the elevator. First, he makes a full turn to the rear, and Charlie closes the door. A moment later, we'll open the door. Everybody's changed positions. <laughs> now we'll see if we can use... Now we'll see if we can use group pressure for some good. Now, in a moment... On Charlie's signal, everybody turns forward. <laughs> Notice they take off their hats. <laughs> and now, do you think we could reverse the procedure? Watch. So the video goes some way to showing quite how uncomfortable people feel when they realize they're they're deviating from the, the herd but behavioral science isn't just based on candid camera videos you know, it wouldn't be much of a science if it was uh, there's an awful lot though of academic exper uh, experiments which prove this point of social proof perhaps the most famous is by a wonderful psychologist called robert cialdini and cialdini was the professor of psychology at Arizona State University. And in his most famous uh, experiment, he works with a hotel chain in Southwest USA, and he persuades them to change the messages that they're running in their rooms, encouraging people to reuse their towels. So he randomly splits the rooms into three groups. First group, the control, uh, they have a message that you, you know, the standard messages in a hotel, please reuse your towels and help save the environment. And in that scenario, 35% of people reuse their towels. Next set of randomly selected rooms, Cialdini changes the message. He no longer has any logical, reasoned, uh, rational uh, arguments for, for changing behaviour. But instead, he makes the social norm clear. Now, what's once previously been invisible is made visible. He says, please reuse your towels. Most guests do so. And in that scenario, reuse rates go from 35% to 44%. 9% percentage point increase, a 25% swing. So firstly, children proves this point of social proof. We tend to copy what others do. But then he looks at who might be most influential. You know, are other people equally influential on this? And he, he begins with the hypothesis that 
some people you know might be more influential than others those who we um, who we think we have a link with so in that final set of rooms he changes the message again he says please reuse your towels because most guests who've stayed in this room have done so so he tries to make a tenuous link with the audience and in that scenario 49 percent of people reuse their towels a full 40 percent swing on the control the most successful of messages so Childine has not only shown that if you make the norm of behavior clear more people will copy that behavior he also brings in an interesting nuance that it's not absolute scale that matters it's more important to tailor a social proof message now if Childini's work was a one-off we could safely ignore it but of all the experiments that uh I'm going to discuss today this is the one that's been proven the most um Fang has shown it on restaurant menus Duncan Watts on music downloads Chris Stackis for smoking rates uh, HMRC for tax repayment rates again and again if you make the norm of behavior clear it will become uh, more commonplace <laughs> 